In this video, we will cover a class one resin composite restoration on a primary first molar. Tooth number L. Begin by assembling the proper armamentarium, as shown in this illustration. Ensure that you have properly selected the appropriate composite shape for the restoration. Evaluate the preparation for adequate dimensions and complete caries removal. Ensure that you have the proper isolation of the prepared tooth with your rubber dam. Apply etch to the preparation. Start with the enamel and extend the etch onto the dentin. Leave it for 15 to 20 seconds, according to the manufacturer's instructions. Use the high-speed suction to remove the majority of the etchant. Rinse the preparation with water for 30 seconds. Dry the preparation using the air water syringe. In the clinical setting, after lightly drying, the enamel should appear frosty and the dentin will be slightly moist. Turn the overhead light and your loop light to cure safe mode. Now apply the bonding agent for 15 seconds, according to the manufacturer's instructions. Be sure to apply the bonding agent to all surfaces you wish to apply a composite to. Apply a light stream of air to thin the bonding agent. Use a clean micro brush to remove any excess bond that is not on the prepared surface. Light cure the bonding agent according to the manufacturer's instructions for your light. Extrude the composite from the composite gun into the most pulpal portion of the preparation. Increments of composite should be no more than 2 millimeters thick. Use the smallest condenser to pack the composite and ensure that the composite is flush with the preparation walls. Continue to shape the composite using hand instruments. Remove excess composite along the way. You can use a variety of hand instruments to help pack and shape the composite. Shown here is a ball instrument. You can use the hand instruments to create occlusal anatomy before you polymerize the composite material. Light cure the composite for 20 to 40 seconds, depending on the intensity of your curing light. The tip of the light should be as close as possible, but not touching the composite. Inspect the restoration and look for voids, flash, or inadequate marginal seals. At this time, you can add composite. Continue adding in increments of one to two millimeters light curing between each increment. At this time, you may optionally place a sealant over the composite restoration. Sealing over restoration has been shown to decrease microleakage and increase the longevity of the restoration. Check out the My Dental Key sealant page for full details on this procedure. Remove any excess composite using the rotary instruments. Burr options include the white stone on high speed or the rubber tip on slow speed. Clean and remove debris from the rubber dam before removing the isolation. Use articulating paper to check the occlusion. Make any adjustments to the occlusion as needed using the white stone or polishing point. Finish by polishing the restoration with rotary instruments. Clean and dry the restoration using the air water syringe. Now examine the restoration as your final check. You can use this checklist to guide you. Thank you for learning with us.